My name is Bob Rosenberg, and this is a video about motion blur. I've been watching lots of tutorials about making good videos with my Mavic Pro, and many of them refer to getting a proper motion blur. Motion blur is sort of described as what the human eye normally does when seeing things in motion. And as things move quickly, apparently there is some sort of blur that our eyes are used to. If we don't have our video camera set properly, we don't get that blur. And it's said that you'll not have good videos unless you do this. So today I thought I'd shoot a series of clips with my camera focused differently to see what motion blur looks like when it's set correctly and when it's not. The videos all seem to tell you that the correct settings for motion blur starts with an ISO of 100. Uh, you want a frames per second of 24, which is what uh, is used in films in Los Angeles, versus 28, which is also a common uh, setting. Uh, then there's this thing called the rule of 180 degrees where your shutter speed needs to be double the frame rate. So if you're shooting a frames per second at 24, your shutter should be 1 48th. If you're shooting at 28, they say 1 50. Uh, when you're outside shooting in bright sunlight and you do those three things, an ISO of 100, a frames per second of 24, and a shutter speed of 1 48, if the sun's out, you need to use an ND filter in order to be able to preserve those settings. And an ND filter uh, is really nothing more than sunglasses for your camera. If you don't use that ND filter with those settings in sunlight, the, the picture is washed out. So for my demonstration, I used my wife's bicycle tire, turned the bike over on its back and spun the tire. And there are several things to look at when you're watching this tire. There are spokes, and I suggest you look at the spokes at the axle and at the rim, and you'll see differences there. There's a reflector out near the rim, a big reflector. I put a large piece of brown tape on the wheel, and there's also some writing on the rims. Those are things that you can look at as you go through the various uh, clips with different camera settings. So what I found is that with the, with the camera set correctly for motion blur, the main difference I could see was that if you look at the spokes near the axle, they're clear. But if you look at the spokes near the rim, they're blurry. That's when I had the camera set properly. When I didn't have it set properly, the spokes were pretty clear from axle to rim. So I'd like people to look at that and comment on what you think uh, th about that difference. I really expected motion blur to be more apparent than that. Uh, if that's all it is, is that little bit of blur in certain circumstances, I guess if you're a perfectionist, that's important. But boy, uh, unless I was looking for it, I sure wouldn't have noticed it. Anyway, take a look at the video. Uh, each clip, I have the settings uh, shown at the top of the frame for the entire clip. Each clip is about 10 seconds long. So I'll take a look at them. Uh, in my mind, clips number two, four, and eight show good motion, motion blur. Clip number five, uh, I had the camera set on auto, but I still got pretty close to a good motion blur. Uh, the other three clips, you, you can see the spoke clearly all the way around the wheel. So anyway, take a look, give me some comments. Uh, am I just being overly fussy or am I missing something?